Ah, a Baldwin Artist Grand Piano. I'm Robert Estrin, and you're watching livingpianos.com. What a pleasure it is to play this piano, a six foot three Baldwin Artist Grand made in 1996 when Baldwin was still at the top of their game well before they stopped producing pianos in the United States. This piano has barely been played at all. It's like a brand new piano inside and the case looks gorgeous. Unusual, by the way, in that it's a high gloss lacquer, something you don't see that often. And the finish is in beautiful shape, but it's the sound and the touch that are on such a refined level. I'm gonna tell you more about Baldwin and more about this piano, but first, why don't we start with some Mozart? This is the complete last one that I'm gonna play for you of his K457 Sonata in C minor, an absolutely stupendous sonata, by the way. One of his last sonatas.
You know, this piano has very special meaning for me because my father, Mort Nestrin, was a concert pianist and a Baldwin artist, and we had a Baldwin L in our home in his incredibly large studio, which was an addition in our house. And I used to love to play that piano. And then when I was a teenager, he got a seven-foot Baldwin SF-10, and we were in total heaven having these two artist grand pianos in our home. So many artists chose Baldwin from Leonard Bernstein to Dave Brubeck to Liberace. I mean, the artist roster is unbelievable. At one time, it was a choice of artists, and you'd go to the concerts, and it would be a Baldwin or a Steinway on stage. And that's why people chose Baldwin for pianos like this. So let's hear what it can do with some poetry. You know, that's really the sign of a great piano, one that is capable of the utmost precision in expression. And what better way than playing a Chopin Nocturne? I'm going to play the complete B-flat minor Nocturne of Chopin for you.
You know, there's a warmth and also a purity of tone that's quite rare that no other piano really matches that combination of clarity and warmth. A lot of times it's, it's a challenge between one extreme or the other. You might play a great Busendorfer and the clarity is just amazing. Warmth, well, it could be voiced warmer, but it doesn't have the fatness that you get. And speaking of fatness, a great Mason and Hamlin or Steinway's got that fatness, but the purity and clarity of tone, it's an interesting sound, isn't it? Now, I want you to just hear what it can do full-blown in all registers. I'm just going to play the opening chords for the Tchaikovsky B-flat minor piano concerto for you. The tone seems to go on forever. You know, the Baldwin L has such an even scale design from top to bottom. Some pianos have an obvious register break when you're going the cross stringing from one set of strings to another, or at the point at which you go from the three steel strings to the two copper wound strings. What a phenomenal scale design. And when you have one in virtually new condition like this, it's just remarkable. I'm interested in your opinion of this piano and all your questions. Bring them to me, Robert at livingpianos.com, your online piano resource. Thanks so much for joining me.